In today's video, we're going to talk about the 40 and 50 year recertification process and what we can learn from the tragedy at the Surfside Collapse. So before I start this video today, I wanted to send my condolences and prayers to all those who lost their lives at Champlain Towers in Surfside. What occurred on that evening was a tragic event that we hope and we will shoot to make sure that never happens again. As a community association manager and an owner and co-founder of a management company, I want to make sure that we uphold our industry to a higher standard so that we can honor all those who passed during that day. So since the tragedy occurred, we've received many phone calls and have had many questions asked of what is a 40 and 50 year recertification. So similar to the process that Champlain Towers was going through, it was a recertification process that occurs only in Miami-Dade County and Broward County. The 40 year and 50 year recertification process is a form that the county provides to the building and that form needs to be filled out by either an architect or an engineer. The form has two sections to it. It has a structural section and it has an electrical section. The engineer will fill out that form and outline or identify any issues or identify any concerns that he or she may see at that moment. Uh, the same will go for the electrical component. And once that form is filled out, there's really only two options. We either passed it or failed it. In most cases, what we'll find is that buildings that don't do go through a preventative maintenance program or aren't really on top of what they need to do um, for their community, they're going to fail that report. What will happen there is your engineer or architect that you select will prepare what's called an RFP or will give you a breakdown of all the items that must be repaired in order for you to pass uh, that 40 year recertification. Once you receive that report, you're going to send that out to three contractors to provide you with a proposal and letting you know what the cost is gonna be to make such repairs. Once that proposal is provided, the board of directors will select a contractor to do the work that's necessary uh, the board should also consider hiring a project manager with the engineer to overlook the work that will be done as the, the 40 year recertification process is underway. Once everything is completed and the engineer has signed off on everything, he or she will provide that report to the county and the county will then certify your building as having passed either the 40 or 50 year. Now I say 40 and 50 year is the reality is that your first inspection will be 40 years and then it will be done every 10 years from there forward. So if you have any additional questions regarding the 40 and 50 year recertification, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are here to help in any way. While we are not engineers that can certify your building, we do have experts that we work with that will be able to help you. Please note we're not doing this in any way for any kind of propaganda. We really wanna help those communities such as Champlain that were self-managed and maybe didn't have the resources, didn't know who to contact to be able to assist them throughout that process. To find more information or resources, please visit us at managebyaffinity.com. If you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we have weekly videos coming up. I'll see you at our next video.